a note from the school nurse. Oh my gosh, head lice in your classroom? Thank you for calling Barrier Healthcare. My name is April. May I have your name, please? Hi, this is Stephanie. I just found out that my daughter has lice. I'm so embarrassed and I'm kind of freaking out. I purchased the root kit. Can you help me? Absolutely. The first thing you need to know is that lice can be contracted by anyone, regardless of personal hygiene. It's a common occurrence in children. Well, that's a relief. Good. Now we just need to confirm that your child does in fact have lice, so you don't treat her unnecessarily. What do lice look like? Lice are about the size of a sesame seed, and they can be difficult to see without a magnifying glass because their color blends easily with hair. Okay, I have a magnifying glass. Where do I look? First of all, are you somewhere with good natural light? Yes. Great. Now, itching is a common symptom of lice. Do you notice your daughter scratching her head in one area, maybe behind the ears or at the nape of the neck? Yeah, she's doing that right now. Good. Now, part her hair right there and check that spot for lice. Keep parting and looking, checking from different angles, and using the magnifying glass or comb to help. Oh my gosh, I can see them. Okay, now that you've confirmed it, we can move on. Do you have the red kit? Yes, I have it right here. Good, now what's your daughter's name? Amy. And how long is Amy's hair? About halfway down her back. Okay, the amount of shampoo you need varies depending on hair length. So for long hair, you'll want to apply the full four ounce bottle to really saturate her hair. The full treatment may take a while, so you may want to find a distraction for Amy, such as a book or a video to keep her occupied. Okay. You'll also need to help Amy hold a towel over her eyes to protect them from the treatment. Now, is her hair dry? Yes. Good, because you always need to apply the shampoo to dry hair. Wetting hair dilutes the treatment, making it less effective. Got it. Now squeeze the shampoo out all over Amy's head until her hair is thoroughly covered. Remember, it's important to apply the shampoo from the roots all the way to the ends of the hair and the areas behind her ears and nape of her neck. Gotcha. Once Amy's entire head is covered with shampoo, just let it sit for 10 minutes, but no longer. Now that it's been 10 minutes, go ahead and add warm water to form a lather. And then rinse her hair out thoroughly. Now it's time for step two, combing out the lice and eggs. Are you still in a well-lit area so you can clearly see the lice and eggs from all angles when combing them out? Yes, I can still see your head clearly. Terrific. Now start with a regular wide tooth comb to remove any hair tangles. You can use a little of the Rid Comb Out product to help if you'd like. Okay, all done. Great. Now you're ready to comb out the lice and eggs. Do you have the red lice comb that comes in the kit? Yes, I have it right here. Great. Now hold the comb with the teeth facing her scalp. Using small sections of hair, each about one half inch thick and one to two inches wide. Start combing from the roots and work your way through the tip of the hair. The lice eggs attach to the hair shaft with a substance that's like glue. So you really need to make sure you use firm strokes and push the comb as close to her hair root as possible, okay? Yes. As you finish each section, pin it back and move to the next so you know which areas you've already done. Go slowly, this will take a while. You might also want to use tissue to wipe off the comb every so often. After you've combed and pinned up all her hair, you can go ahead and remove the pins and rinse her hair thoroughly with warm water. Now you can use a regular shampoo if you want. Okay, are we done? You're done for today.
But because the shampoo doesn't kill the lice eggs, you will need to shampoo Amy's hair again with Rib in seven to 10 days to kill any newly hatched lice. Would you like us to send you a reminder next week? That would be great. Can I shampoo again if I see live lice sooner the next week? That's a great question, Stephanie. The answer is no, and here's why. It has to do with the life cycle of the lice. Rib kills live lice, not the eggs. If you shampoo too soon, more eggs could still hatch. If you wait the full seven to 10 days, you will ensure that any eggs you missed in the comb out today have hatched and will be killed by the second shampooing and comb out. Now they won't have a chance to lay more eggs. They'll be too immature. Then you can stop the cycle so you won't need to do it again. Does that make sense? I guess, but what if I do see live lice in between? What you can do is comb out Amy's hair as often as you'd like using the process we just went through, even every day. And that can remove any live lice that hatch between now and the second application of the red shampoo between days seven and 10. Oh, okay. So obviously Amy has to wash her hair over the next seven days. Are there any special shampoos that I should use? Amy can resume her normal activities so you can use all your regular hair products at this point. There are no restrictions with that. What about her clothes, bed sheets, towels? I should wash everything, right? It's a good idea to machine wash and dry any clothing, bed linens, towels, or other items that Amy wore or used in the past few days. You should use hot water and dry them on the high heat setting of your dryer. But what about her hair accessories and stuffed animals and all the stuff that can't go in the laundry? If they are things that she used in the past few days, you can either have them dry cleaned or seal them in a plastic bag for two weeks. Combs and brushes, including the rig comb, can be soaked in hot water above 130 degrees Fahrenheit for five to 10 minutes. Sounds good. Oh, and I almost forgot. What about her carpet and furniture? You could just do a good vacuuming of those areas. Lice can survive too long if they leave Amy's head. And if you wish, you can spray unwashable items such as rugs, furniture, or car interiors with rid home spray. That's good to know. And the rest of the family, should they be treated too just to be safe? No. You definitely don't want to treat anyone unless you've seen live lice on their heads. But you should certainly inspect the rest of the family regularly for the next couple of weeks. Okay. And then treat only if you find live lice. And Stephanie? Yes? Don't forget that second shampooing between day seven and 10. It's really important to stop the cycle and get complete elimination. Thank you so much for all your help. Amy and I feel a lot better now. It's been my pleasure. The customer support line is available to answer all your questions and support you every step of the way. I also want to point out another great resource for you. It's ridlice.com. You can read about what we've gone over in more detail and learn more about lice. Thank you, I will. Goodbye.